Hey there. This module's goal is to focus you on a concept you may not have thought much about as a student. It's called the concurrency of learning. What is concurrency of learning? Well, it's the concept that your education is a unified experience. Your English class, your math class, science class, history class, your dance class, even your ag class. They're all part of building up a unified you. And as you've already seen in the previous module to this course, we do a great deal of this work of unifying your experience through the learner profile. Your growth in those traits unifies your whole school experience. But it requires you to be an active participant. And what I mean by that is that you are taking an active role in making those connections largely through reflection and goal setting within the learner profile. However, your teachers are also taking an active role in helping to create a concurrency of learning. Now, you might be a little skeptical about this. You might even wonder if your teachers even know each other. I mean, that's fair. That's 100% fair. In IB, though, we try to avoid a 100% true or 100% false claim. Instead, we consider the degree to which we think something is likely true. So in that spirit, let's consider some ways we might come to know the degree to which your educational experience uh, has been a unified one. One way is through uh, the balancing of assessments. This means that if your math teacher has a test scheduled for Friday, your English teacher may slide the due date of an essay to the following Wednesday. In this module, take some time in our discussion board prompt to answer the following. To what degree do you think your teachers in the past or even right now work to balance testing across your schedule? As you think about your answer to that, be ready to share a short recollection from your life or someone else's that may help us understand where you're coming from with your opinion. In my role in this course, it's my job to speak on your behalf and help your teachers become more aware of their concurrent examinations so that they can help you in balancing them. So I'm hoping that this is an area we will improve over time with you communicating with me and me communicating with the team. Another aspect of concurrent learning is that your teachers are united in the practices of teaching and learning. This means that there is a consistency to how you learn and how you present your learning, even if the content is different. These teaching and learning consistencies might include uh, using a variety of experiences throughout the period, you know, having more than one thing to do, having a warm-up activity as well as some kind of exit activity, uh, small group project-based learning activities, uh, learning opportunities that extend beyond the classroom, uh, problem-solving activities, uh, writing analytically in a way that you're making observations, citing evidence, and then explaining how your evidence supports your observations, encouraging you to ask questions as part of your classroom experience, encouraging you to reflect on your learning uh, throughout the year as part of your learning experience, and connecting your learning to a global context, as well as using assessments to guide the instruction in the classroom. So that's a lot of stuff, but it's just a few of the methods that IB approves of when it comes to teaching and learning. In this module, take some time on our second discussion board prompt to answer the following. To what degree do you think your teachers share similar teaching practices? As you think about your answer, Share a short recollection from your life or someone else's that may help us understand where you're coming from with your opinion. Finally, another way we can assess the degree to which your learning has been connected can be found through your teacher's ability to make cross-curricular connections. <laughs> so what does that mean? That means there is an active awareness of what is being taught across the classes by the teacher, and the teacher makes references to those learnings and uses those learnings as a way to build into their own curriculum. For instance, when I teach uh, the writing components for my IB film class, I'm very aware of how the students are taught how to write in their IB English class. And I can actually use that teaching as a reference point to strengthen how I teach students how to approach writing in film. Or you may have seen this take shape in just having a teacher reference what's happening in your other classes. 
Uh, for instance, if you're in ROTC and you have some kind of event coming up on Saturday and your English teacher just pulls you aside and says good luck, you know, that's them recognizing your involvement and wishing you well and that's just another way of making connections between all the different things you have going on. And studies show that when a teacher recognizes your wider life outside the classroom, you tend to do better within that class. So now in this module, take some time on our third discussion board prompt to answer to what degree do you think your teachers connect your learning activities across your classes? To what degree do you think they're aware of your wider life and bring that awareness into the classroom? And like the other two, as you think about your answer, be ready to share a recollection from your life or someone else's that helps us understand where exactly you're coming from with your opinion. In closing, know that this class is a key component to the IB Career Diploma Program, and because of this, it has a primary goal, which is to provide you with a concurrent learning experience. We've already started that process by looking at how you wish to grow in the learner profile. Additionally, the IB Career Diploma faculty members have required meetings throughout the year to work on balancing assessments, creating cross-curricular learning opportunities, and looking for opportunities to use what's happening in their class to help you succeed with your service learning and career goals. But even if you're just taking this course as a single certificate scholar, we will still work to advocate for this goal on your behalf. For your final activity in this module, I want you to consider your career-related study. Let's say it's leadership management, so you're in training to become a people leader. How do each of your classes this year contribute to that goal. Make a list of your courses for the year and consider how you might be able to learn or get better in your career through deepening your knowledge in those courses. All right, good luck with all that. That's going to take a while. I'm going to put 90 minutes on this module just for that last component. Take your time with it. Good luck and thanks for participating.